Hey buddies, Sumnuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're quickly going to teach you how taming works now in RL Craft version 2.9. Things have been changed quite a bit. I think the changes personally are good because I used to go out and one of the very first things that I would try and do is get a rock tamed up. And honestly, getting a flying in mount in this game changes things drastically, makes things a whole lot easier. So I think moving this kind of taming and, and, and flying mount getting or any kind of mounts really Moving that towards more of an end game thing uh, or mid game thing, I think is quite a good idea. And uh, and this is how you're going to be doing it, guys. It works on a knowledge system and a uh, sort of a loyalty system as well. And we're going to go through this for you here. So first things first, you need to make sure that you've discovered the creature, of course. So you discover a creature just by walking up fairly close to it. Um, and then you'll be able to discover that and find that in your bestiary. By default, the bestiary is uh, activated, uh, accessed via the B key. B will access the bestiary. Surprise, surprise. And you see here, I have knowledge rank 25 out of 1,000. And it says unlocked at knowledge rank 2. So knowledge rank 2 is 1,000 uh, 1, knowledge points, I guess is what you call them. Now... Knowledge points are gained in a few different ways. Firstly, killing a mob will give you 25 uh, knowledge points. Feeding a mob, like an avian treat for an avian mob, it has to be this specific treat for the specific, uh, specific Lycanite mob. So the specific. <laughs> um, so 50 points per feed, and then you get uh, 100 points for using a soul gazer on a mob, which is nice because it now adds more value to the soul gazer. The soul gazer does, however, have a five minute cooldown. So 25 for a kill, 50 for feeding, and 100 for using a soul gazer with a 5 minute cooldown. So we're going to get this uh, knowledge rank up to 1000 for you. We're at 25 at the moment, so just to confirm that, let's pull out our soul gazer. And uh, does this work if I'm in creative mode? <clears throat> the soul stone can only bind- that's a soul stone, not a soul gazer, my bad. Let's get the soul gazer here and click on him. Knowledge just plus 100, nice. It even pops up with a little thing at the bottom of the screen there for you. And then I should just be able to feed this plus 50 for feeding. And we're just going to feed this all the way up to over a thousand. And then we'll be able to tame him. Taming 88 out of a thousand. Fantastic. So you learn more of a rock. You learn more of the rock unlocking knowledge rank two. It says in the bottom left corner, which I'm covering with my webcam. Um, and now you actually see this taming bar 88 out of a thousand. So the way that taming works now with regards to treats is it used to just be a very a small percentage per treat fed. Anywhere between, you know, I tamed one in like two to four treats. Sometimes it takes eight to ten treats in the old method. Now you get a random, within a set range, uh, amount of taming per feed that you get up to this 1,000 level to tame it all the way up. So you can see each time I feed it, that taming value is going to go up. And we're looking to get that to 1,000. I think it's really nice to get that visibility. It will take more treats overall. You see our taming bar has just gone green there. It will take more treats overall, so you're definitely going to have to prepare more um, for uh, for your taming. So we're going to get this taming up to a thousand. <clears throat> and the rock seems to love you now. Fantastic. So Rocky Boy is tamed. Very, very good. Uh, we can now use a soul stone on him. So this will, you know, I, I this will act like tames used to do. Uh, and just like you used to, you need to use a soul stone on it to make it permanent. If it dies currently before I soul stone it, it is dead forever. But once I've soul stoned it, <coughs> this is now going to be bound to me. It's soul bound. He's a soul bound. Pets are our souls are intertwined. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, now he's uh, now he's my my dude. He's my dude now, and I should be able to wrong button. I should be able to find him in my uh, in my pets mounts category. Here we go. We have our rock. And, uh, and that's, uh, and that's that, guys. The same as it used to be, we can now add our, uh, oh yeah, this is the, this is the other big change. And again, I think this is another good one, because the avian saddle, check this out, new requirements to build the avian saddle. We have, uh, we can't see it, okay, no, it's just giving it to my inventory. Um, <clears throat> I want to see, please. I'm gonna have to give mode, uh, there we go, done. That should be, now allow me to see the recipe, there we go. So the recipe is troll tusks, forest troll leather, or mountain troll leather, so troll leather, and and, and random bird feathers, stymphalian and amphitheer. Uh, in fact, I'm going to check right now exactly where those might drop, so we can give you guys that information as well, bear with me. Alrighty, we've got this knowledge for you here. So we're going to be making an avian saddle, so this is going to require troll tusk, troll leather, 
Amphitheater Feather or a Stymphalian Bird Feather, as well as a regular saddle. Regular saddles can be crafted in an RL Craft, which is quite nice. Uh, with regards to the Avian Saddle, so Trolls, Amphitheater Feathers, and Stymphalian Bird Feathers. So, the Stymphalian Bird is the, is this bird, it's the one that kind of flies around swamp biomes and shoots those uh, feather dart things at you. Um, so Stymphalian birds are found in swamp biomes, and that's how you get those feathers. Amphitheater fe uh, feathers can be found in jungle biomes. They're like the uh, legless dragon-looking things in jungle biomes that are just gliding around, can be found in jungle biomes. And then the trolls can be found underground in forest, mountain, or snowy tundra biomes. I think it's the forest or the mountain trolls you require um, for the saddle. And they can be found basically in any cave uh, underground. I've also found them frequently in dungeons, particularly the dungeons where it's just a straight ladder all the way down deep into the ground. And then you've got all the different rooms and walls. I often find trolls in there. So caves in forest and mountain biomes are where you're going to find your trolls. So that's for the rock saddle. Of course, there's going to be other requirements for the other saddles. We're not going to go through these here, but you can find this information via the JEI. If the RL Craft wiki doesn't have the information for the specific creature you're looking for, often it's an Ice and Fire mob, and you can check the Ice and Fire wiki for that information on where it spawns. That's what I had to do to check these ones here. So this is the Ice and Fire wiki. This had further information uh, on like the spawns uh, for these particular creatures. Alrighty, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. I've been running an RL Craft server from my Twitch channel. It's a public server, it's multiplayer, a lot of fun. We've had you know 15 to 20 players on it at peak times at the moment. Um, and uh, I want it to grow. I want it to be bigger and better. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It already has been a lot of fun. It only opened on the 27th. Um, so you know, if you get on there or a, a couple of days after this video goes live, you haven't missed much. Uh, you do need 3,000 channel points. So if you'd be willing to jump over the stream, check, uh, get some channel points, redeem the whitelist there, and then you can get access to the server. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching, hope you have a good day.